What's going on everybody, Poke the Monster here, doing another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at something that we've done a couple of times, but not enough. That's a Sun and Moon booster box, but I know what you're thinking. They're mapped. And I know there's a chance that they're still mapped, but that is why we're going to be doing something a little different. Now, we're not going to be opening up the whole thing today. We're going to break this up into a couple of different videos, but I want you guys to see what we're going to physically do. And we're going to open it all up and you're going to see me do it all right in a second. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so I know what you're thinking. What in the world are you gonna do that's gonna make it any better? And that is, I'm going to just literally open up this box right here, throw it away via cellophane, open this up, do this, just like that, just like as if we were about to open up a normal box. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna spill it. Oh, yep, okay. And then after we spill it, we're going to take it and we're just going to mosh it all up. I don't care how. I don't care what we're going to do, but we're literally just... I'm making a mess. My, my thing's about to fall apart. But we're literally just going to take this and just... Yeah, flip it all up. Don't care what goes where. And yeah, so hopefully this did enough to make us wonder... Whether or not we're going to be getting... Hold on. Hold on. These boxes aren't empty. Oh, God. I don't want them to fall. I do not want that 25th anniversary box to fall. All right. So we're just going to take these, put some over there, put some over there, move this around, do a little shuffle, do the hokey pokey. And uh, yeah, that should be all right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to literally put all of the same packs together. I think. Is that going to do anything? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, though. We will find out. Is that all the Incineroar packs? No. No, I mean Solgaleo. So that's Solgaleo. We got Incineroar, Decidueye, Lunala, uh, Decidueye, Lunala. Okay, so I'm going to go through this, filter all through all of this real quick, and uh, and then we're going we're gonna to see what we've got. So keep watching. All right, guys, so clearly because it is a box of 36 packs and there's five different types, there is no way that there'd be an even amount. So it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Solgaleos, seven Incineroars. It looks like we've got eight Decidui. So, yep, eight Decidui, seven Lunala, and seven Primarinas. Okay, so... If this isn't enough, and just so you know, you can literally, there you go, all Saul Galeos. So you don't, I don't want you guys to think that, like, I'm just doing this, like, in a way, and then I magically know. Like, they're all Primarinas. These are all Decidueyes, right? All Decidueyes. So how are we going to do it after this? Well, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to be opening up nine packs at a time. So I'm going to take all of the Saul Galeos and two of the Decidueye. Then I'm going to take all the Incineroars, two for that, all of the Primarinas, plus two of the Decidueye, and then all of the Lunalas, plus two of the Decidueye. So that is a total of nine packs, nine packs per spot, and that's a total of four actual stacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to be opening up nine at a time, four-part video, and uh, yeah, so let's see. This is clearly going to be the longest because of the big shuffle, but let's see what we can get. So we're going to do, you know what, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to open up three Solgaleo, one Decidueye, one Solgaleo, one Decidueye, then three more Solgaleo. And uh, yeah, that should hopefully shuffle up with what we're going to get. All right, there we go. And 
first code is a sweet is a white code okay so let's do that and this, this first pack i'm just going to go through real quick and then we're just going to go to the uncommons after that sandial picky pack spiro fire energy Galbat. oh god Galbat. polywhirl dragonair Cosmium, reverse holo, first one! Yes! Lurantis full art. <laughs> very, very nice. I do not have one of these. I have the Lurantis uh secret rare, but not the full art. First pack in <laughs> awesome freaking pull. There you go. We're, so we're gonna we're gonna slide these on over and we're gonna pop that right back there. Next card or next pack. Alright. Is another Eh. Okay. For you guys. All right. So that's the second one, right? So technically, if I did not unmap this, technically the next two packs should be green and then the following one should be white. So if the third one is white or if the next one is green, White, then I've clearly unmapped it. All right, so we've got a crushing hammer, Toracat, energy switch, reverse holographic is a Paris, and our rare card is an Incineroar, non hollow rare. All right, next one, next in uh, Solgaleo pack. Okay, green code. Okay, one, two, three, four, and a two. Pop those commons over there. All right, so we got a Fighting Energy, Mega, uh, Big Malasada, sorry, a Bruiny, followed by a uh, Crocorock, Wingle, Reverse Hollow, and our rare card is a Hariyama. Okay, wait, was that a common? Uh, yeah, that was a common. Wingle is a common. All right, so Decidueye. Part of me wants this to be a white code, but another part of me is like, but that would kind of still be like mapped. Ha ha! Unmapped. There we go. I have officially unmapped the map. Ha ha! You don't know what we're going to get or when we're going to get it. All right. Ilima. Pissimian. Pokemon Catcher. Lit in reverse. Hollow. Rare card is a cloister. All right. Then we're back to a Sogaleo. Okay. Ah, still. All right. This only means that we're going to have a nice boatload of white white cards somewhere. The more greens we get, the better it's going to be later. All right. So we've got a Lightning Energy. Rodham Dex. Nest Ball. Dartrix. Reverse Hollow is a Pelipper. And our rare card is another Horiyama. Ho -ho. All right. Decidueye. Once again. All right, green code, another green code. Okay, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Are we going to get a really cool reverse hollow? Let's take a look. All right, lightning energy, metapod, grand bull, double colorless energy, grand bull once again, but the reverse hollow, and our rare card is a cos cosmoem, cosmoem. Or, I don't know. What, whatever you guys want to call it works for me. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat or tips your canoe. Another green code. Jeez, what did I pick? Like all the all the packs that have nothing in them? Uh, there you go, guys. You have officially seen me unmap the mapped box. All right. So we got a dark energy Pelipper. Oh, nope. Pelipper. Okay. Pokeball. Hypno. Reverse holo... Oh, no. Yeah, reverse holographic is a rare Sharpedo. Yes, rare Sharpedo. Very, very nice. And our rare card is a two cannon. But we all knew it wasn't going to be anything nice because there wasn't a great, there wasn't a white code. Okay, so we're down to our last two Solgaleo packs. All right. Let's see. Any more white codes in this bunch? Nope. Another green code. This is going to get interesting. Now, the question is, which one of these four parts is going to be an interesting part because we've only gotten one gx card which means there's still like if it's still mapped at least there's five more gx or better and five holographic rares all right gallbat 
Dragonair. Ooh, Orin Guru Rare Reverse Hollow. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. And the rare card is a Palace Sand. Pile of sand. And the final card, final pack from this first part. All right. Let's see if we're going to get a white card. Nope. All right. You know what that means, guys. You got to stay tuned because the next one of the next videos, one of the next three is going to be quite interesting. So definitely stay tuned and let's see what we can get in one of the next packs. All right. So we got a rainbow energy reverse holographic is ace energy or switch is a Pokemon switch. And our final rare card is a Bruxish. OK, so. What do you guys think of doing a Sun and Moon booster box like this? Do you prefer to now watch it because them being mapped is, is it kind of sucks. Um, so by doing it this way, it clearly, as you can see, unmaps it. The first nine packs were all pretty much green codes. The first pack was a white code, but the remaining eight were all green codes. So. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, I'll be putting a link on uh, on the in the description section if you'd like to buy one of these boxes to Amazon, or you can go and check out a really close friend of mine who started selling Pokemon cards, PA collectibles. I put a link to his Facebook group in my uh, group. So go ahead, check it out. Let me know what you think. Comment down in the comment section below. Over there's a subscribe button. Over there's a previous video. And as always, till next time, peace out, everybody.